Hey, good morning. Well, Kitano was not there this morning, so what I did was I gave uh, the food to the gentleman who owns, and the medicine to the gentleman who owns the, uh, uh, the business next door. And he's got a store there, and he opens every day except Sunday. So what I'm thinking is if I can get the two to get along, and I mean, he's already well disposed towards the dog. He might not adopt him, but, or he, might, he doesn't want him for his house, but maybe he could just adopt him right there where he is. Then we wouldn't have to move Kitano, but he would have somebody feeding him and looking out for him. It might be a good solution if we can't, you know, find a better one. The, the young men for, did not show up with the car today, so, or the truck. So I couldn't, uh, wow, it's really dark here, yeah. So I could not uh, take him home. And so I'm thinking maybe a really good idea would be to ask this gentleman to, to help uh, Hitano, just to, to sort of adopt him and little by little bring him into the store. He, he has tried to invite him into the store when it rains and stuff because the poor dog just sits outside, but he's afraid. And when there are thunder and lightning, what happens is that the dog runs into the store and then he runs back out because he's afraid to be inside. So there's this back and forth, back and forth. So maybe what he can do is, is work on him and, and maybe he'll learn to, uh, you know, he'll develop a really good friendship with this gentleman and maybe it will be the right solution. We don't traumatize a dog. Maybe what I can do is get the vet to come out and vaccinate him, uh, try to figure out how we can get him sterilized. Not sure about that. And uh, so I cover that and then the gentleman covers the food. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just sort of shooting ideas into the air, trying to come up with something that will resolve everyone's problem and be a good solution for the dog. So there we are. So I don't have a Hitano story today other than to say that he wasn't there but in theory he's going to have been fed and uh, I'll throw this up on the blog and if uh, this evening I'll of course feed him and give him his medicine so hopefully uh, I'll find out what what happened this morning and uh, I'll write it out uh, underneath this video you can see wow nice shot eh look at that building behind me it's really cool so yeah still hanging out being geographically free here I'm in the center of town and Everything would be fine if I could just solve the dog problem, which is a little bit difficult to solve on, on your own. I mean, if hundreds and thousands of people haven't been able to solve it, how can I? I guess the idea is just to do what you can. Always do anything you can. That's my, my idea. Uh, as long as you can. And, you know, sometimes you can't do anything, but, but that's everything you can do. Instead of simply closing my eyes, my idea is to try and do what I can when I can. And uh, that's uh, something. And if we all do that, well, the problem will be solved. Uh, that's the main, it's the idea of living the message, as I talked about before, trying to anyway. And uh, so let's hope that we can find a solution for Gitano. And let's hope that this will, you know, he's got now several people in the neighborhood looking out for him. So that's a good thing. And maybe little by little, you know, seeds, we can start uh, improving the lot of dogs in general. And cats, of course. You know, I'm a cat person, actually, so it's just so funny. I'm walking around, running around saving dogs, but uh, cats are harder to track. Oh, I guess, yep, there's, you can hear the, here's a church. You want to see it up behind me? There we go. Yeah. And so, that's the end of my blog for today. And uh, see you tomorrow, and see what we can do about Little Hitano.